Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the possibility of more product being released at Walmart, Target, and other supermarkets. And the reason that Walmart, Target, and other supermarkets are so interesting is because it would destroy local game stores. A long time ago, a long time ago, YouTubers used to say that you could not play Magic at Walmart. They no longer say that as they're promoting other stores, which you're not playing Magic at either. So it wouldn't be logical for them to say, hey, don't buy Magic cards from Walmart, buy it from my online website store, which I get paid for every time you buy it. Or buy it from me. Uh, that would be even more direct, right? So the shift in how Wizards of the Coast has viewed Walmart and Target over the past six months has been incredible. They have been promoting discounts. They have been, in this case, producing these draft packs, as they call it. And now the Master Series is also draft packable. What is next? All the Commander decks are already here. All the Commander decks are at Walmart, Toys R Us, Target, Barnes & Noble. So what products... And the f and promos no longer exist the way they used to exist. So what products does your local game store have that it can sell to promote gameplay, to promote... Maybe you might say, oh, commanders, Commander products such as Anthologies, Archangel Anthologies. These products are just so much cheaper online than they are at your local game store. What would scare me is that all products, including from the vault, will be at Walmart because Walmart is very big and Walmart can say to Hasbro, and I don't know why they haven't said it before, hey, we want these products. And unless you give us these products or you give us these discounts and let us be competitive against your local game stores, we're not going to carry any of your toy line. If you are Walmart, or if you were Amazon, or you were someone big, that's what you could tell Hasbro. And they would have no choice because in order to carry Transformers and Monopoly and My Little Pony and other brands, they would have to say, yes, we are going to carry Masters. We will give you the iconic Masters at 50% off. I am... This is quite interesting because the stores didn't even have a advantage in time. So one way to make it good for stores is stores, hey, we're going to give you a two month period where you're the only one who's able to sell it. And then we're going to allow it for Walmart. That is not what happened here. What happened here is extremely gruesome for a store that has to compete directly with their local supermarket now because they came out at the same time. It was released on the same day. So there's not a competitive edge time-wise. There's maybe you could say it's a competitive edge price-wise, but these boxes, so if you bought enough of these to make a box with, you'd get $219. It would cost you $219 a box compared to the, I believe it's $9.99 pack, 24 pack, so $23.99. $23.99. No, twenty three nine nine nine. Just two hundred forty dollars, ten dollars a pack, and it's actually cheaper at your local Walmart with the buy one get one fifty percent off deal that's they're currently running. I am uh, Walgreens runs deals all the time. Uh, so does Barnes and Nobles. Toys R Us, I've never really seen a deal, but the older Commander decks do exist at Toys R Us. You can find old packs even to the point of Dragon Maze fat packs in your local Walmart. I get it. It makes sense to me, but it's still very dis disrespectful for local game stores. I cannot imagine a local game store waking up and saying, Hey, this is good news for us. Yay, our local Walmart now competes against us. And our local Target now competes against us. And trust me, when they do this, if they did Iconic Masters, it's already too late. They've already committed to the 25th Anniversary Masters. They've already committed to every product. Unstable will be here. And the problem with Walmart is it's too easy. It's too easy for someone to buy an extra pack as they shop and go, like, let's say they buy some milk and some bread and they buy some magic cards. That person 
has convenience, right? You're at Walmart anyway. Going to your local game store is kind of out the way. And I have not been surprised. Two of my favorite local game stores have stopped carrying Magic the Gathering products or they stopped doing pre-releases. They're no longer WPN stores because at the end of the day, why does that matter if a Walmart's going to carry the same product? There's no special product. There's no FNM promos. There's no uh, Master Series exclusive to you. I heard a, what was it, Commander or the Commander Anthology, a blanking Ace Hardware store had like 200 copies of it. An Ace Hardware store. Like there's obviously no one's playing Magic at Ace Hardware. Things are bad. People are selling inventory. I know because I'm the only one buying inventory, right? And that is insane to me. Some of these stories that I'm hearing from people who want to sell me their inventory is incredibly brutal. That they are selling me their inventory at $70 a box. They purchased at $78 and I don't even want it because it's on Dave and Adams for $50 a box to the public. So why would I buy a Born of the Gods box for 70 bucks from you when I can get it for 50? Yes, I know it sucks that you bought it for 78, but I mean, what can you do? I've been in very, very long conversations, very, very late at night with these things. And I have just concluded that like the only thing I would buy was be reserve list cards. And now I know a lot of you will accuse YouTubers of saying, oh, hey, reserve list cards because we have them. And yes, I do have them. I don't have power nine. I just have the bulk ones that are spiking like crazy. I did the experiment with Norwales and that was the first time I realized that, hey, things just go up for no reason if they're on a reserve list. Uh, and I didn't expect Norwales to go up. In fact, I tried to do it kind of uh, sneaky because I really actually did like Norwales uh, because it was a funny card, but it went up. Uh, same with Tamanian Fiend, the same with the Coast and Falls. I mean, it's insane. I don't know what to tell you, except I'm not buying the cards. I am not buying those cards. I just own so many of them. And the fact that they're spiking does benefit me greatly because I own many copies of them because I couldn't get rid of them. It's not because I'm an MTG financial guru. And I knew that, oh, down the road, these cards are going to be valuable. Keep your pirate from Mirage. He's going to be five bucks down the road. It's five cents now, but he'll be five bucks later. No, I had no way to predict that's going to happen. There was no... If I could have sold it for five cents back then, I would have sold it for five cents because I would be like, oh, okay, at least I got rid of it. But no one wanted to buy for five cents. No one wanted to buy for a cent. No one wanted the pirate card. Now everyone wants it for five bucks. And the same can be said with Hardbringer of the Night. I mean, I've shown you my collection. I have a lot of these things that are spiking. And I don't know why they're spiking, except the fact that they are on a reserve list. But I do know they have value. I do know they're going to hold value. And how do I know that? Because there's a limited supply of them. There's not infinite. How If Iconic Masters gets printed at Walmart or gets carried in Walmart, how many Walmarts are there? There's 200 of these stores. These major error stores. I've never been to one because they're up north. There's 200 of them. How many Walmarts are there? Like 2,000, maybe more? And if every Walmart carries the product, how much supply is going to be there? And eventually Walmart would put a sticker on it and discount it, right? Because that's what Walmart does for magic product. Oh, Walmart will make Wizard of the Coast give a promotion on their Twitter, right? I've never seen Wizard of the Coast promote my local game stores, but they will happily promote Walmart to beat them. You know, I, I think the solution is very, very clear. The solution is play Magic because you love playing it. Do not play it because you expect to make money or you expect the cards to be worth any money in the future, especially these new cards. Iconic Masters, people have been saying it's amazing. It's a lot of value. See if they have Iconic Masters for sale and then see what they're selling for that's the key because if this gets carried in Walmart, it's over. As a what who would invest in a booster pack carried by Walmart and Target? It's already being carried by this supermarket, and there's 200 of these apparently out there. And it was released the same day that Iconic Masters was released in the local game stores. I get it, I get it, but I don't like it anyway. That's it. Bye, guys.